what is up guys welcome back to part two of my main menu tutorial in this episode we are, i'm going to be showing you how to add a how to play or basically an informational button it's going to take you here it's going to tell you what you need to know about the game or you know whatever you want to do you want to have the discord code in here and just put whatever you want but in my friday 13th game it's going to be a how to play you can make this whatever you want but in my case it's going to be a how to play because that's what I programmed it to do so what we're gonna do now is I already have my GUI set up here but essentially you're gonna add a button frame and just uh, hang on let me so, uh, let me put the transparency on this or active no where is the enabled visible there it is so basically we're gonna add a button frame and we're gonna inside this button frame Make sure you name it that, by the way. And we're going to add a text button inside the button frame. Oh, that's a spelling error there. So make a frame and call it button frame. And then inside that, add a text button. And we named it how to play because that's what we're doing. Once you're done with that, we're going to go inside this. And we're going to add a local script. And what we're going to do is we're going to do local frame hang on let me think local frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent uh oh shoot asus web storage colon wait for child uh parentheses frame do exactly what I do there. Go down one script dot parent. Just we're gonna add a function here. Um, dot mouse button one click uh, colon connect parentheses function open close frame. Now we're gonna change the visible. The visibility to uh, false or true, I meant. And then we're going to end it off with in parentheses close. There we go. Did we misspell visible? Oh, we forgot our period. Make sure to add a dot or period in between frame and visible. So I'll give you a second to make sure you have everything right. All right. So now that we're done with that, um, you guys want to go ahead and create a frame. And this is where you put all your information and whatever you want in here, images, information, you know, how to play is in my case. So what we're going to do is inside this, so once you have your text button or, or everything you want in here, uh, we're going to go ahead and add a text button inside this. So once you have your images, your text, whatever you want in here, you're going to add a uh, text button. And this is going to be your back button. So what we're going to do is we're going to name this back button. Just like that. And yeah, that's that's exactly what we need to do. So what we're going to do is inside this back button, we're going to add a local script. Local script, there you are. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to copy this script over into here and instead of true we're gonna set it to false exactly like that and that should get us working oh yeah by the way you need to set you need to change button to just back so just change it to back and we're gonna also scale that up so we can see it better so there we go now uh, yeah also you want to set this frame to visible uh, visible off because we're that's the scripting is going to do that for us so if we click how to play oh shoot wait a second i think i messed up on this oh yeah make sure the local script and button frame is in the text button sorry about that now if we click how to play our frame will come up the stuff will disappear we click back it's going to take us right back to here back how to play and that's how to do it it's really simple and you know you can have whatever you want in here but yeah it's that simple if you guys didn't enjoy this and you guys do want to see another tutorial make sure to subscribe 
like the video. My name is Owl. Peace.